Have you ever been brought into a new data project, something seemingly overly complex and felt like you're in over your head? Just panic a bit? It seems like every company I talk to acts like they have a unique data problem that only they have, but they really don't. Ultimately, we all have the same data problems, and while the solutions may vary, they all come down to the same six steps. If you're ever on a new data project, knowing these six steps can really help you out. So a new project kicks off, the team's in place, and they just get started building and designing. The problem is they've glossed over the first step, understanding the business need. There's no chance of the project succeeding or actually being used by anybody if there's not a lot of effort put into this first step. It might not be exciting and it might be tedious, but sitting down with the users and defining the goals is very important. First is understanding the high level strategic goals of the project. What does success look like on a company level? What are the needs driving this project? But then you need to sit down with the actual users who are gonna be using this day to day and see what their needs are to meet the strategic goals. Often the top project stakeholders and the users aren't on the same page with what a successful project looks like. So bridging that gap early can save you a lot of headache down the road. Now that we know it's needed, it's time to get to work and collection is the first step. You'll need to find the data and get the data. It's possible all of this is neatly packaged and ready for you to consume, but it's not very likely. It probably involves hunting for sources that contain useful data. Company databases, APIs, files on shares, external data, possibly even data that hasn't been collected yet and you'll need to build a new collection system for it. You may be connecting tools directly to the data sources or you might need to build additional infrastructure such as a data lake or data warehouse to centrally store the data you've collected. The scope here can vary wildly between projects, but ultimately you're gonna have to find data and you're gonna have to get access to it. Once we find the data and get to it, we're gonna need to clean the data. Data preparation can involve getting rid of useless or incomplete data. It could be standardizing naming units and data types, and it could be dealing with missing values. This will involve a lot of exploring the data, seeing what all you've collected and how it all relates together. It could possibly involve creating data models that best fit your goals, such as dimensional models for reporting or preparing data sets for machine learning. The effort of this step will depend on how much data you've been collecting. Now that the data is all ready to go, it's time to start producing things that people actually want, starting with visualizations and insights. We'll be generating descriptive analytics at this point, which is anything that describes what's been happening. This could include building out dashboards and reports if that's what users need, or it could be ad hoc queries to define further steps. Communicating the data in a clear and understandable method so that users can uncover what's been going on and why is the goal here. And finally, we wanna be learning from our data. This is predictive or prescriptive analytics. It's figuring out what's going to happen and what changes we can make to business decisions to impact that outcome. We can apply statistical models to the data or machine learning algorithms to just help uncover things that we can't see with our human eyes. The level of this step will depend on the organization's comfort with using data. Are they still trying to understand descriptive analytics and how to apply them in their day-to-day -day life? Or do they have a clear idea of how predictive analytics can help them achieve a specific goal? If you ever worked anywhere that had no idea what to do with their data, hit the like button in solidarity. But of course, there's one more thing. Once the project's done, well, Projects are never done, and we have to deal with maintenance. New needs will be discovered, bugs will pop up, and just general support will be needed. The amount of maintenance will depend on how much tech debt has been accrued throughout the project, as well as how well scaling and iteration was designed into the architecture. And of course, once they get a taste, the business will always hunger for more data. For more on the steps of a data project, check out this video.